स्वागत है आप सभी का YouTube चैनल में जहां पे आज हम देखने वाले हैं कंट्रोल सिस्टम प्रैक्टिकल फॉर ब्लॉक डायग्राम प्रोडक्शन और जहां पे आप देखेंगे कास्केड पैरल और फीडबैक रिलेटेड एग्जांपल आउटलाइन फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन देन कैनोनिकल फॉर्म ऑफ अ फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन रिडक्शन टेक्निक ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड एग्जांपल टू बी सॉल्व यूजिंग साइड इंट्रोडक्शन A block diagram is a short hand picture or representation of the cause and effect relationship of a system like x related to y with d by dt. For the operation of addition and subtraction the block becomes a small circle called a summing point. Like here x plus y minus z. That can be represented with the help of this small block or small circle that is known as a summing point. In order to have the same signal or variable be an input to more than one block or summing point, a takeoff point is used. So in this case, we have same signal x that is used input to more than one block. So that's why we have taken takeoff point. This is the second case where takeoff point is used to give or to take same variable x as a in output and same. For the feedback, so here takeoff point is used. Now example, so consider the following equation, which x1, x2, and x3 are variable, and a1, a2 are general coefficient or mathematical operator. Then x3 is equal to a1, x1 plus a2, x2 minus 5. So how we can represent with the help of simple block diagram? So this is simple way we can represent that x3. This is the final output. That is a Addition of a1 x1, so a1 is a coefficient, x1 is a input, a2 is a coefficient, x2 is a input. Both are plus, so plus plus, and minus five. So five is constant with minus sign that may take its summing point at this particular one, and that gives the x3. Now let's understand the canonical form of a feedback control system. So here one example, when picture representation is given, that gives R, E, B, G, H, and C. So here G is a direct transfer function or forward transfer function. H is a feedback transfer function. G H is a loop transfer function or open loop transfer function. C by R C by R is a closed loop transfer function or control ratio that is equal to C by R that is equal to G divided by one plus or minus G H. So here plus or minus is given with the help of this minus plus sign like if here minus is there that means a negative feedback is there then here one plus g h if it is plus sign that means a positive feedback is there then one minus g h is there so here minus plus is there that's why here plus minus sign is there then e by r actuating signal ratio or error ratio that is equal to e by r one then here one plus or minus g h one divided by one plus or minus g h then b by r So B by R, so primary feedback ratio that is given by G H divided by one plus or minus G H. Now let's understand the basic terminology. One uh, example is given that R C some function of G and some function of H. So what is open loop transfer function? Open loop transfer function is G S into H S. So G S into H S is known as open loop transfer function. Then next feed forward transfer function. So G of S is indicated as a feed forward transfer function. Then control ratio C of S divided by R of S is equal to G of S divided by one plus because here minus negative feedback is given. That's why one plus G of S into H of S that is known as a control ratio. Then feedback ratio that is B of S divided by here B of S is there. B of S divided by R of S is equal to G of S H of S in, divided by one plus G of S into H of S. Error ratio is E by R that is equal to one divided by one plus G into H. Closed loop transfer function C by R that is G divided by one plus G of S H of S. Characteristic equation that is equal to denominator of this closed loop transfer function that is one plus G of S into H of S equal to zero. Now characteristic equation. The control ratio is the closed loop transfer function of the system, like C of S divided by R of S equal to G of S divided by one plus or minus G of S into H of S. So the denominator of a closed loop transfer function determines the characteristic equation of the system. So which is determined as one plus or minus G of S H of S equal to zero. 
that gives the correct equation solution. So now let's understand the reduction technique of block diagram. So first combine a block in casket. So if two blocks are there G1 and G2, then it can be combined as a multiplication of these two particular blocks. So G1 multiplied by G2. So both are equivalent. Second combine block in parallel. So you can see here direction is from same direction is from the like input to output direction is same for G1 to G2 to output. So if combining blocks in parallel, the two blocks are there which are parallel that add at summing point then we have to add algebraically so here both the way plus is both the uh, sign plus is there g1 plus and g2 also plus so finally it gives the equivalent is g1 plus g2 then move a summing point behind the block like here summing point is there we have to move that particular summing point behind a particular block so if g is there here so same way we have to multiply the similar kind of gain in the path of feedback like here path is given but in no multiplication is there but we have to multiply the whatever gain is there then moving the summing point ahead of block like here summing point is ahead of block if i want to move this summing point ahead of this block then i have to divide that particular gain like here g is there that one by g now in take off or now pick off point or take off point so case is reverse if like moving a pick off point behind a block so if we have to move the pick uh, pick off point from behind the block then we have to divide this particular gain uh, by same amount so 1 by g and we have to ahead then multiply the amount of gain then eliminating a feedback loop so for eliminating a feedback loop, we have to use a closed loop transfer function equation like GH is there. So equality is G divided by here plus minus is given. So 1 minus plus GH. So both are equivalent. If H equal to 1, in that case G divided by 1 minus plus G. Swap with two neighboring summing points like A and B are two summing points is given and we have to swap that uh, B and E. So answer is same because summing point indicating the algebraic sum of the particular block. So the indication of swapping is the same. Now let's understand the concept with the help of an example. Like reduce the block diagram to canonical form. So uh, here G1, G4 in the cascade, G3, G2 in parallel, this G1, G4, H1 in the feedback loop. And let's do uh, this kind of solution and apply the step by step solution to perform the reduce the block diagram. The first is combine all the cascade blocks using rule 1. So G1 and G4 is in cascade. So it is multiplication G1 and G4. Second, combine all parallel blocks using the rule 2. So G3 and G2 is in parallel. So G2 plus G3 because both the sign plus is there. So G2 plus G3. So now it is like G1, G4 and G2, G3. Okay. Now we have to apply the loop, feedback loop concept to eliminate the loop. So next is elemental loop. So G1, G4 and H1 is there. Here positive feedback is there. So at the time of applying the feedback loop or closed loop transfer function, finally G divided by 1 minus G8. So G1, G4, 1 minus G1, G4 into H1. So eliminating all minor feedback loop using rule 7. Then after eliminating the minor feedback loop, the block diagram reduced to shown as like G1, G4, 1 minus G1, G4, H1. Then this is the one second cascade G2, G3. So we have to multiply this G2 plus G3 to the this particular first one block G1, G4 divided by 1 minus G1, G4 into H1. And then once again apply the rule 7 for eliminating the particular or apply the eliminating the loop or feedback loop. So G1, G4 in bracket G2 plus G3 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1. So again block in cascade as per rule 1. And finally, uh, solve with the help of element in the loop. Now, let's try to understand the second example. In the same case, we have to reduce the block diagram to the canonical form. So, here, uh, uh, summing point is there, two summing point, then one second one block is there, one summing point is there, August block is there. So, we have to first, we have to uh, use some kind of operation to see the how block diagram perform easily or reduction of the block diagram perform easily. So for that, what we will do that we have to move the block forward and summing point behind a particular block. So at that time we have to divide by gain. So 
in earlier one it is a g1 so as 2 divided by g1 summing point is 2 now here g1 and g2 in casket so it is multiply so g1 g2 is multiply in the next step once again we have to move to the this loop and we have to move the summing point so earlier it is a plus minus summing point is here and plus plus summing point is here so for the closing loop or for feedback loop we have to just move the summing point so at this time and there is no change as we already seen earlier presentation so uh, now g1 g2 and h1 it forms a feedback loop or it forms a loop so apply the uh, closure transfer function equation g1 g2 divided by 1 here plus is there so 1 minus g1 g2 h1 so g1 g2 1 minus g2 g2 h1 now this two blocks are in cascade so apply the cascading rule so g1 g2 g3 1 minus g1 g2 h1 now once again this is the forming a loop okay so apply here negative is there so it divided by positive so it gives the positive one so like g1 g2 g3 1 minus g1 g2 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 to g3 h2 so this is the canonical form of the particular block diagram that is solved with the help of reduction technique now we try to solve one example with the help of silent so open loop gain is given like g1 is s divided by s plus s1 g2 is s and unity negative feedback h1 is applied find cascade g1 g2 so what is the solution for the cascade g1 g2 so it is a multiplication so how we can uh, multiply that thing or how we can get the solution with the help of silent that we see the second is uh, in case of parallel what happens so parallel g1 and g2 what is the solution and third transfer function for g1 and g2 in cascade with unity negative feedback and fourth transfer function for g1 g2 in cascade with unity positive feedback okay so let's try to solve this example with the help of silent so first uh open the silent then open the sign not uh then basic example and which open loop open loop gain g1 equal to s divided by s plus 1 and g2 equal to s limiting negative feedback h1 it is given now uh, find first solution for cascade second for parallel third feedback negative feedback with v1 v2 cascade and fourth positive feedback v1 v2 cascade Okay, so first CLC, then clear, then say G1 equal to custom linear function for continuous where polynomial is S. So for uh, and the function is S divided by S plus one. So S divided by S plus one. The first one is completed. So it indicates open loop gain g one equal to s divided by s plus one. Now g two g two equal to system linear function for continuous and only s is there. So S plus 
the open loop again okay. and here i have to define constant as one as divided by one Open loop gain g2 is equal to s. Now h1 equal to 1. So that indicate unity negative feedback. I'm gonna add some column. Okay. Now let's say display first the transfer function and for that we have to use command dist display <coughs> display g1 that indicate first first open loop gain then display g2 that second open loop gain now first solution is find cascade so for cascade equal to we have to multiply in the cascade so g1 multiply by g2 find transfer function in case of cascade in parallel we have to add so here parallel parallel g1 plus g2 so find transfer function in case of parallel okay now apply feedback third case is negative feedback so first two is there now third is third is feedback g1 g2 cascade is there so feedback equal to cascade for uh, we have to find a solution with the same negative feedback with cascade okay so cascade divided by dot h1 so that indicated negative feedback find transfer function in case of unity negative feedback okay and second one is find the transfer function with the unity positive feedback so feedback say one it indicate cascade the dot minus h1 so find the transfer function in case of unity positive feedback let's display all the results so display first uh, cascade cascade so it indicate or display the transfer function in case of Cascade then and parallel the display parallel the transfer function in case of parallel and third feedback so display feedback transfer function in case of unity negative feedback and last one display result with positive feedback this one so the transfer function in case of unity positive feedback and save this and run this program so after saving this click on the execute so 
first open loop gain as divided by 1 plus s second open loop gain is second the transfer function in case of casket so s divided by s plus 1 multiply by s so you get the s squared divided by 1 plus s then fourth is the transfer function in case of parallel that is a g1 plus g2 so 2s plus s squared divided by 1 plus s that is the summation of s divided by 1 plus s plus s next to find the solution in case of unity negative feedback so g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h in that case you find the solution and the last is the transfer function in case unity positive feedback so in that case solution is g1 g2 divided by 1 minus g1 g2 h1 so in that case you find this kind of so we have solved this example Thank you.